Here we are, Chaos with a TV advantage. Hopefully he's got no money so he doesn't have a fucking wizard. I think I've played this Oh, not a TV advantage, he's got four fucking players. So it's fucking down TV and I've got no money so I don't get the wizard. Oh, fucking balls. Fucking balls. <laughs> so what I thought was the perfect TV advantage is the perfect disadvantage. Fucking great. <sighs> to be fair though, quitting the quitting playing Blood Bowl did it make us make us eighty dollars on the poker, so it turned out a lot better for me that I got pissed off with the Blood Bowl. Yeah, the big book brothers have played a few, so yeah, I gotta play a few more with the ogres. Um, at some point. <laughs> Back to poker. <laughs> what is even happening here, by the way? Maybe I'm going to just lose. That'll be fun, won't it? 110. I guess it's not so bad. But 40k in the bank would have been pretty good, wouldn't it? Oh, God. Frenzy tackle... Frenzy Claw Pom and Tackle Pom. Tackle Claw Pom, not that that matters. Oh, Edge 5, I played this guy before, right? Edge 5. Blood Sure Hands, Blood Guard. Two Claw Pom versus one. <sighs> Yeah, exactly, buy cakes. Um, so what I need to do is, I just need to fucking play games, don't I? And and I think what I can do is, so so the plan will be, in the future, will be to stream like an absolute motherfucker the first week of a season. Um, you know, like, to try and get in about 40 games in the first, in the first week, like, uh, like the Duckster and Christopher. Um... And then, then I can play like NAF and you know random different teams for the rest of the the rest of the season. Uh, yeah, of course. Um, no ogres aren't definitely out at all. No, no, no. The ogres, the ogres have still got a shot. I'll, I'll, I'll carry on playing the ogres, but I want to get, I want to get the fucking chaos. You know, obviously, I'd rather. Although, although I got donated a hundred dollars to try to qualify with ogres, I'd I'd really like to get the uh, the chaos in a qualifying spot as well. Um, first, <laughs> um, but no, the the ogres have got a, have got a shot to be in for sure. But in future, what I'll do is I'll be like a week of chaos or something, um, you know, super intensively like Christopher and Ducky. Bam, get 42 games in. Six games a day for seven days, isn't it? That's all it is. Easy. What's six games? Only Six games is only nine hours. It's not even hard. It's not even hard to just fucking smash the games in. So smash 42 games in a week. In the first week of the season. And then after that, I can play for fun, can't I? And it's not, there's going to be, all the pressure's going to be off. Um, which is going to be good. So I think that's definitely, definitely the player. I want these chaos guys here so that these chaos guys, the warrior's there so that he can't. Well, if he does pile on, follow up for the plan. Oh God, can't actually click them. Right. So if he follows or if he blitzes him and tries to pile on, he can block him. And same for these two, isn't it? I guess this is the bigger threat. Waiting for a pull, yeah. Big Book Brothers 1126. So, and mine are 844. 
which is then that's like nine two five or ten zero six so if I won one and drew two I'll be equal with him so but I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna play more you know that, that so that's the whole idea you know if I just fucking play more it'll be easier to qualify the fourth but yeah in future it's gonna be a week super intense and then like you know, fucking four weeks of just dicking around, playing some, uh, playing some naff ladder. Oh, that was good, wasn't it? I'm badly hurt. Claw bomb. <laughs> Rock victory. That rocked. <laughs> For once. It's a, it, this is truly a fucking Christmas miracle. Holy shit. I'd be fucking steaming. <laughs> I'd be absolutely fucking steaming. Did he greed that? No, oh, I guess he's getting fouled, dickhead. Yeah, but I mean, to be fair, he'll be thinking he's not lucky, will he? Because he's not, because he got fucking badly hurt. His claw pom got badly hurt. Right, so he did go for the higher value target, giving me a claw pom blitz, which was nice of him, wasn't it? He could go full, chain him off and get more assists in for the foul. I don't have anybody to actually foul him with. But I can put guard lock in. Hmm, maybe not. Maybe I can't guard lock in. I like the idea of running around here to blitz him, push him out. And there'd be a two assist foul. That doesn't seem very good though, does it? Nah, I think just go straight forward. Let's fucking go. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. I've got to get the power. You can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for the hooks. <laughs> Thank you very much for the host. Was, was Murloc Joe the big one there, was it? Thank you very much, uh, everybody. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mel Joe. Huge host. <laughs> very much like Lou Pack. He's a bad ass. One assist. Uh, no, it could be two assists. Nah. 
Could be one assist. Two assist foul. Is a two assist foul worth it? It probably is, isn't it? No, I don't have to cheer fire, do I? Never have listened to you. <laughs> I, I knew I shouldn't have fouled because the wrestle is a good way to get down that fucking blodger. Knew I shouldn't have fucking fouled. I mean, I knew I'd get sent off for no armor break. When when have I ever not been? <laughs> it was probably worth a foul. But I'd have another player there, wouldn't I? So he couldn't have done that. Yeah, I knew I shouldn't have fucking found. Stupid found. Should have just tried to guard lock him. Found him next turn. Classic gym foul. Hello, Yuri Styles. Ah, thank you. I, I actually understand that. Refugees from the air. Um, Yeah, if every, every time I've seen his undead team, he's got fucking mad cars. Absolutely mad, I wish. But, I mean, it's, it's not surprising, is it? You know, he's starting with two mighty blow. Like undead, you start with two mighty blow, you get, um... You get pom really quickly as well on the other guys. So... I wish I hadn't done that far. I knew, I absolutely knew it would be a failure. I fucking knew 100%. Right, he has given up a hit on the ball here, though, hasn't he? <laughs> he does have a guard assist in, and I can't really cancel that other one either, can I? So I think I just try to hit him. And get a guard of my own. Ah, but that doesn't work, does it? Maybe blitz him. Can't stand him up though, can I? Because it's a free 2D from Claw. Clever dingo. Well, 
Wait, he didn't chain out. He didn't chain out the guard. I guess he's gonna blitz the guard then. Oh yeah, it's easier, isn't it? So yeah, maybe I should have given up the claw mighty blow block to avoid the claw pom block. Hmm. Three players removed. Thank God I had the rock here. Oh, he's going to dodge away now, isn't he, maybe? Otherwise he's getting called Mighty Blow Blitzed. I can't believe I did that foul. <laughs> so bad. I knew I would get sent off, that's why I had to do with the rookie. Good. He just gave up a claw mighty blow hit for no reason. There, didn't he? That wasn't very clever. To say the least. <laughs> well done. That was fully deserved. Fucking idiot. I can get a three dice here with a claw, can't I? There you go, fuck you, shit, you go. We should still have the rest of them on the pitch. Yeah, I would say, I would say Bludge sidestep before Tackle Pedro, in fact. Thanks for the bits, Bucket Bum. Yeah, standing up to get fucking Mighty Blow was maybe stupid. But then on the other hand, I thought at least it takes up his action, doesn't it? Oh, but it let him chain away the guard. Uh... But I really wanted the tackle standing in case he fucked up. He might have got knocked, uh, knocked over. Him. Hey! I thought that was being a loner, right? Eh? It's called Lone Fagars. Should it be? Alright, oh, it's starting to get control now. Now that it's now that it's even men. And they're nearly even men. <laughs> yeah, I would say sidestep before I think mean, blodge step was was great. Oh, you cunt. Huge one dicer there. 
<laughs> One dies without a block versus a fucking claw mighty blow. Absolutely huge. Huge. Lucky bastard. Oh man. <laughs> Pretty sad about that. Because now if I want to get my claw palm up and protect him, or, or blitz with a claw palm, or do anything good, it's fucking hard, isn't it? I guess two guards on him and blitz him. And he's got guard. So one dice. Yeah, do the one dice first before stunning him. Oh yeah, of course. Now it's safer to stun him, up, isn't it? Can't do anything else. Tackle doing something. Can make a decent potato now, can't he? Unfortunately. When would you consider the 3 plus the 2 dice the ball? Never against dodge. Against blodge, I wouldn't. Scouty, to be honest. Well, maybe if I could get a follow-up block on him. Um, like it was, it's without block as well. I just think it was way too risky to go for the 3 plus to hit the ball there. Yeah, he's, he's shit, but he's still blood sidestep. Yeah, exactly. Blood step is amazing. Like blood step walls are amazing. There's no need to sack them ever. You know, people people make a big deal because obviously wolves are way better with stats and with, and with mighty blow and stuff. But a blood step wolf is still amazing and way way better than a rookie wolf. Or at least they're only KOs. He's got two cars. Right, so. Can't get the guards into it, so he's gonna have to blitz and then bring him back. Or he could block him and then bring him around. Or he could block him, he could block him, he could blitz. And then. I'd like to get some kind of pressure on the ball, wouldn't I? Double GF fight to two dice, I don't even think it's worth it. Maybe though. One GF fight to two dice with block. Two, three, four, five, six is not in range. Double GFI to two dice. I'll just blitz him and get two people back. Would have got the power if I'd got there.
That two dice on the ball wouldn't have been as spectacular, would it? I think I had to re-roll it to keep the guy locked down. Yes, men not to flack or yes they are. They are very random. Yeah, that that's why it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a um <laughs> Nah Mr. Yemen down because he's he's got he hasn't really got an advantage this game, he's just got two claw bombers versus one, it's not a huge difference. Um, yeah, that, that double one could have been on the uh, on the GFI or something. I, I don't like having to make rolls to two dice at Blodgy without tackle, you know. I really don't. It's one thing because you gotta you gotta be able to get there. With against a Blodgy, you're probably gonna have to re-roll the hit on the ball, aren't you? And uh, and you know, it's good to be able to re-roll that hit on the ball. So, I mean, now it's going to be two dice on the board, isn't it? With, with a re-roll. Knock down all his guys as well. Right, let's do the most important one first. Oh, would have been a pal. This is this is a huge one if it's a pal, isn't it? Yeah, good. Because it gets two dice on that other guy with claw. You could argue that I shouldn't be making these blocks because they don't matter. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, can't go. Guess he does then, maybe I should have re-rolled that. Oops. Ah well, would have been a push. <laughs> I fucking hate hitting blodgers. I hate blitzing blodgers. Yeah, high TV case is all about injury dice. And it, but you know, it's still all about injury dice even if you're, you know, no matter what bash team you are. Just high TV versus chaos with a bash team is all about dice. So... It's what I get for basing the ball, isn't it? Like a fucking dickhead. Make him make an extra roll. Just get my guy cast. I can have one apple for winning the game, I guess, and then one apple for pearls. If he got both down there, he couldn't wasn't in range. So I thought he might glitter the loner. Right, two turner with no plus movement and no short hands. Easy as you like, and one reroll. I really didn't want to reroll the hit on the ball. I really fucking didn't want it. Fucking blotches. Oh, they got pushes though, right? <laughs> so. I 
I'd rather take my chances at, at him having to clear. Because he was a 1 in 9 to just... Oh, no, he had the re there. 1 in 9, then 2 GFI. But I was 30% of how with the re-roll, wasn't I, I guess. But then, I, you know, I just thought if it doesn't work, which it probably won't, I won't have a re-roll to score my two-turner. And I thought, I need a re-roll to score my two-turner. Goes fucking claw pawn. <laughs> yeah, it's true, Pedro. No, I'm still. It's still in England. I am stingy, really. If I had the wrestler there, I would have re-rolled it. But I used my wrestler. Didn't I? Use my wrestle to foul for the guaranteed send off. I'm still fucking bitter and twisted about Mars, Jim Shard. <laughs> Thank you very much. Henry Judas, Jim Shard, X Mars, yeah. Can't even kill loners, I know, right? right? He wants to be the main scoring threat, I think. Oh god, he's got frenzy over the other side. pick up oh god the pick up move to here would be amazing I should have just gone that way to stop getting hit by him at all alright go for it. Oh wow. Maybe I should have kept one beastman back so I could have made the GF by that time. What were you doing before being a full time Blood Bowl streamer, Jimmy? <laughs> Is being a salty cunt really a profession? <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Tony. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess it's just a salty cunt. Yeah, that's, that was my profession before. But now, um, full time the ball stream. <laughs> um, yeah, there have been a decent number of parlons, yeah. Thanks for staying fantastic. Henry Judas and uh, Tony Pierce Pooley. Howdy, Bellini. Yeah, this was horrible just having to give up this fucking corp on hit, wasn't it? Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, of course it was. Oh God, how fucking boring. Why is it why is it a perm every time? That's that's what I wanna know. It seems unnecessary, doesn't it? It's 
So now I'm out of out of apples in the first half. He still got his. Maybe I shouldn't have used an apple for winning the game. Wow, we. Joe Dimi, here is the dough Ahmed at Port of Felix dough requires. Use the phrase, why do Germans do not like littering? He will book you passage on the MS Hope heading for Hamburg port. <laughs> Pack some diapers and crackers. See you in Hamburg on the January 5th. <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much, wowee. 25, he didn't stop this guy at all. Right, I'll have to read that later. Because right now, obviously, I've just got to blitz this guy, and uh, I don't even need to blitz him, do I? There's just literally nobody in the way. I mean, I will, because it's three dice, so why not, right? Ooh, or this one. I can't three dice this guy. Um, or can I? Yes, I can. <laughs> okay then. Okay, three dice the claw palm. And he literally didn't put anything in the way of the touchdown. Yep. Well that was the failed handoff dice used up. Fucking random. <laughs> Give three dice on the claw pump. Obviously don't even get a knockdown after he gets the perm on, on the guy he blitzes. Mind the rock was fucking amazing, wasn't it? I just need to protect my guys. The one I like how the one turn I couldn't protect him. He got cast. Um but now I've got to try and protect with all the shitters, haven't I? Three shitters to try and protect with and then hopefully make a foul with. Don't even blitz with a claw palm. Just, just, just block like this, to, like last time. And then these journeymen, well, they're not journeymen. Rookies can protect the good players. Reindeer fag goes on three, so we can get. He can get a level. Oh no, the five didn't get a level. Oh shit, so I handed off to a rookie. Oh yeah, so it was Reindeer Fagol that got it. I was hoping that present Fagol would do a pass if he had to. So now Reindeer Fagol can get another touchdown to be uh, to get sure hands. It's pretty important to have a sure hands guy, isn't it, finally? And a dirty player. Um. Well, this is the new me, uh... This is the new me, uh, Mellow Gold, so I'm not going to fall for your trap. And <laughs> I'm going to say... <laughs> he had some interesting strategies, didn't he? <laughs> and as many other... I mean, I don't think I'll be able to reach Andy and Zunk level of euphemisms for shit. But yeah, he was he was pretty bad. And he was pretty bad, that Chaos Coach. Um... Well, he played badly in that game. Doesn't mean that he's bad overall, but he certainly played terribly that game, didn't he? Um. <laughs> yeah, frenzy, frenzy on the kill is fine. And then not to flat court. M more chance of knockdowns, isn't it? So it's absolutely fine. Like it does mean that obviously sometimes he can get himself into trouble and. 
good coaches can fucking make it hard for him and stuff, but I like one frenzy killer and one uh, one juggernaut killer. No, I'll just blitz that guy then, it doesn't really matter, does it? As long as I get my three dice here. Yes! <laughs> Protect the ball. What a novel, what a novel concept. You can make this three dice, can't you? Ooh, although it leaves me in contact if it's a failure, which isn't great. I just couldn't resist the three dice, though. Right. <laughs> Everyone's protected. And got the ball. Yeah, yeah, Epiphany, I would have a Rackle. Um, I'd absolutely have a Rackle. That's why the Wrestle guy who got sent off doing a foul, he is there to get to get Russell Tackle. But like a dickhead, I fouled him. Obvious insta sent off. Um, a move busted neck will do a plus edge wrestle. Hmm. In a league, I'll probably keep him in that. Yeah, in a league, I'll probably keep him. He's better than a rookie. A lot better than a rookie. He'll die soon enough anyway, isn't he? Uh, he's a fucking he's a fucking ghoul. <laughs> He'll die soon enough. See now I've got the chance of a foul with a rookie, haven't I? If I uh, if I blitz this guy. Which I want to anyway. So that that was the main thing. I wanted to get the foul with a rookie. No, oh, holy shit, I can just hit hit his fucking best guy now. Oh baby. Can I get all the guards in? Three guards in? Is it even worth it to make it three dice now? I've got tackle. Random, what a random dude. Rookie warrior can take the claw palm hit. Into two guards, so that's that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good formation, isn't it, to deny him there? So yeah, there is frenzy is a bit of a disadvantage, isn't it? Because he can get a two D, but he'll be into he'll be frenzy trapping himself for sure. Is he 
isn't it better a tackle before frenzy? Yeah, you could say so. Yeah. I mean, I would have them both tackle. Either frenzy would have tackle as well, you know. Ah, oh, bastard. He's just trying to get some kills in now, isn't he? I mean, there, if you got the push, he was in a frenzy trap. Maybe I should have one-diced him at the end, actually. Claw him and then claw palm him. Disappointing. Oh wow, that's nice of him. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> Some people are. Eh? Oh, I don't understand the fuck was his idea there. But. I'll take it. Blitzes him, puts a guard in here, blitzes him, gets another two dice on him, unless the guard's in there. Then where does the ball go? Just back six, I guess. On the sideline. <laughs> yeah, Jelly Love Cards. <laughs> I mean, the player was a fucking idiot there. He should have stood firm, but he was he was an idiot. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't stand firm. I can't believe he didn't stand firm. Yeah, that's true. That's true, Pedro. Girls do die, but yeah, once you got Bludge, Bludge steps your hand. It's really good. So we get a lot of skills, to be fair. They're still good after a lot of skills. Girls. So he didn't blitz with his claw palm, which means his claw palm gets blitzed. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. If he follows this. Oh, see, what a terrible follow. <laughs> Absolutely terrible follow. Right. One, two, three, four, five, GFI. Get him in there. Safe moves first. Which is that. Oh, this is guard anyway. Nice, the rookie. Ah, 
I just want to not get fucked for once, you know? For once, when I completely outmaneuver my opponent so that he's getting blitzes on shitheads or frenzy traps and I'm getting a two dice on his killer, I'd like just for once to be able to knock down his killer, not use my reroll on the greed. That's why I never greed anything. Boom. Double skull into Kaz. Fuck. Off, man. Fucking hell. There's just no need for that, is there? What even is this fucking game? <sighs> it's just typical, isn't it? I mean, four dice on his killer. After after shutting down his, he's lost. He's got seven guys in the pitch. I've got nine, so I guess it still plays up for now. Maybe not by the end of the turn, though. Don't <laughs> expect from big boy, yeah. And I mean, look, at uh, uh, the the greed wasn't necessarily a mistake, was it? It was two dice from my claw palm and his claw palm. I wouldn't even call that a mistake reading it, you know? Holy shit. Now he gets the claw palm, my claw, my blow. I can't believe, I think it was a mistake him standing up because he, he was going to get lit by Clawpon. So his mistake is rewarded by him not being able to knock over his killer. Fucking stupid. Actually, pretty annoying because I'd like to have freed him up with him there. Oh, yeah, there you go. <sighs> Fucking hell. So I can't free up the guard. So, in that case, it, this has to be this block. Can't foul him. I mm, guess I could block and then just not follow. Following with guard is strength for his work, isn't it? Yeah, so 
he's he's on seven. Three turns left. Oh no, it's nine, isn't it? It's nine versus seven because I've got the reserve. All right, nine versus seven. With three turns to score, so and two rerolls, so it's not so terrible. Just gonna base the ball with stand firm. Though. And reduces to eight, of course. No. No, he's going for the alternative strategy of getting Claw Mighty Blowed in the face. I think I just block him. No, oh, nobody stand firm, so I've got to block him. And then remove him. I could blitz him first. Let's see if I remove him. No, of course I don't. Alright, so now the ball carry can dodge. Or even hand off. To him. So you could block him. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's in range, isn't he? Glad the edge five blotches off because he would be able to run around and one dice anything. Hello, little bars. Oh, I tell you what, that I think that was a good turn to say how bad it went without blitz and stuff. out of re-rolls. Very nice. Relevant pylon and the rookie. Good for you. He can get fouled now, finally. On fucking turn 15. That was annoying that 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 you know fucking this guy wasn't blocked guard. Now he does get the the safety. Well, he doesn't have a safety. Uh, I think he should have done. No. Nah. So he just blitzes him, doesn't he? Hold for a pal. Can I do a safe move first to try and get a, the scoring threat down? He could two dice him. 
and he could run through for a scoring threat, but it's not really. I mean, that's fraught with risk anyway, isn't it? Being a strength four. Right, strength four, no block. Not going to foul him. Just two dice blocks with Claw at the end. So you could push him, and then if it's a power, one, two, three, four, five, six, get a scoring threat. Now I think it's worth just doing the blitz first. Drew against this guy. Can't believe it. <laughs> just can't believe it. I just can't believe, man. Fuck, fuck chaos. I'm never playing chaos again. Fuck it. Fuck it. It's just not worth. Not worth it for pissing myself off. So fucking dumb. There's just too much luck, isn't there? There's too much luck at high TV. The bad thing is, if you min max, you get the fucking high TV teams anyway. The thing is though, you say that Kyle dude, I know you've got the capper there, but the thing is, it doesn't matter what team you pick, if you pick a bash team you come up against these chaos teams and it's just literally the dice to side and it doesn't matter how shit he is, how shit he plays, it doesn't matter what decisions he makes, he's gonna fucking cause a bunch of cars, isn't he? And, and if they cause a bunch of cars you don't fucking win with a bash team. Yeah, maybe, maybe men not diff black, or maybe woodies are the best way. Yeah, maybe that's true. <laughs> Ahmed at Port of Felix Tom. <laughs> January the 5th. Thank you very much for the £25 anyway, Yuri Styles, by the way. I didn't get to read that because. That woman was reading it out, and I couldn't really understand it. Right, do I, can I get two pushes here? Um, I don't think so. Because I'd have to push him into an extra block, wouldn't I? I could, I could push him to there, and then block there. But if I could get him to there and get him forward, but I just don't think that's possible. I just claw him. Oh god, he's got a scoring threat. No, he doesn't. Two, three, double GFI. Fucking ball so stupid, isn't it? I guess him getting surfed is the auto injury isn't a good idea to have. But the claw bombs maybe even worse. No, it's just not possible, no. Yeah, 
yeah, exactly, little bars. Exactly. But this is really frustrating that there's just no chance of winning. Food fellas. I had to duck and terrors, which I thought was good. Dark elves are kind of underpowered, though. Aren't they? I just can't believe I'll get out bashed. I didn't even really get out bashed this game. Three cars, took three, and then got a guy sent off. Oh, but then one of those cars was a thrown rock, so I actively caused two. Yeah, everything is dicey in different ways, that's true, yeah. Skeleton murder crew. Out armor break. down to 12 cars. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, but it's done now. Um, hmm, brilliant, eh? Another fucking draw. Um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.